one of the hottest new tech toys this holiday season is the creation of a collaboration between two startups based right here in our region. Fittingly, one's in the robotics business and the other develops video games and virtual worlds, among other things. The product is called Mechatars, and its creators are Bossa Nova Robotics and Shell Games. So Jun Skoff is back with us. He's a chief technology officer with Bossa Nova. And Jake Witherell is Chief Operating Officer at Shell Games, and welcome. Good to see both of you. Great Thanks. to be here. Thank yeah, this you. is fun. I think we featured both companies on and off over the years, so right. it's great uh, great to see you here again. And, and I guess working together, how did this come about that, that you two found each other? You know, it's, it's, it's been a long-sought uh, collaboration. We've always wanted to uh, work uh, with Jesse Shell and his team and, and Jake, and we had been talking to them over the years, ever since we started with uh, building robot toys. And uh, in th in, uh, last year, finally, everything lined up, and then that's when the collaboration started. They're intrigued about this idea, because these robots actually, uh, they occupy a virtual world, but they also work in the real world. So this is a real departure from the way it's been done before. Yeah, we, I mean, obviously, Sarjun and I uh, uh, think it's, it's very unique, and uh, we're excited about it. And, and like Sarjun said, uh, working together has been, has been great. Um, uh, these guys handle all the things that we don't we don't want to handle, uh, <laughs> right? All the retail, the manufacturing, and all the things that, about the toys, and then we get to do what we do, which is which is really the virtual world part and the the gameplay design. Yeah, so. we've been actually looking at the way kids play, and it's always been a fascination with robots, but also being on the internet a lot of the time. Hmm. So that product was really based on a vision where we need to meet them where they were already. And, and this way with Mechatars, you get to play with the robot, you get to play with an online game, and it's a very complementary play pattern. When you play on the robot, the robot records all that play and allows you and transmits it online and allows you to level up. And then you play online and you gather more powers, uh, more options, more upgrades, and you can download those right back onto the robot and now your robot is more powerful. Okay, well, wow, so a real back and forth interaction. Well, can we see how these work? Uh, now these are at this stage going to be a little more like just radio controlled toys, I would think, right? <laughs> yes. We're not doing it justice without the virtual world to go along with it yes. entirely. Yes, so we would have played with the in the virtual world, downloaded all the new features on the robots, and now you're ready to play. And this is really social gaming, so you get to play with others. Okay. And for example, each one of you guys may have a robot. So this is Kodar who is a bear robot, and this is Rex, styled after dinosaurs. And those robots are able to battle. So they, they run, they have those, uh, it's, a robotic, uh, it's a robotics technology spun out of Carnegie Mellon. They have those legs that allow them to run. And what we're going to do here um, is have them communicate with wireless communication that's built in. The robots are talking the robots to each are other. talking to one another without you knowing. Okay. And uh, for the entertainment of the crowds, they're going to taunt one another before they battle. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and press go on each. We just press the blue button. Yep. Okay. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> And Kodar just won. Okay, he won. Uh, Knock him off the table. So there yeah. you go. All right, I got the winner. Excellent. So, and again, some of that comes down off of the computer into the robot. Absolutely. So you load them. It's a lot of strategy. It's um, a bit of a turn-based game, a lot of strategy. There's a choice of the weapons and of the powers that you have on board. So you download that from the online game. And the more you play, the stronger your robot is. And so that robot is evolving over time. And the two are battling, saving the results, and you can visualize those online when you connect them, uh, when you go back home and you connect them again. It must have been an awful lot of back and forth between Shell and Bossa Nova to figure all of this out. Yeah, oh, definitely. The collaboration mm -hmm. had to be at a, at a high level, and it, and it was. And it was, uh, you don't always find partners that, that uh, partnerships that work that way, but, but this one did, definitely. Was this a departure from the kinds of things that Shell has, has done before? Uh, it's certainly unique, that two-way communication uh, element, and the fact we've done some work with uh, connecting toys to, to virtual worlds. Um, so in that sense, it's not uh, new for us, for us but, uh, but certainly the, the, the 
the two-way communication is, is brand new. And what, this is now out? I've seen it at, at Target, I've seen it at Toys R Us. Is it Absolutely. all over the country right yep. now? It's yeah, di it's distributed nationwide. It's also online on Amazon and on our own website, mechatars.com. Okay, and what's really cool is if you actually turn the box over and you look at it, it says distributed by Bossa Nova <laughs> right. Shell out of Pittsburgh, Absolutely. Pennsylvania. Absolutely. So I assume the actual robots are made overseas somewhere. Right? They are made in China, yes. Okay, so how's but it going? But we, we control the quality and um, they're very sturdy. To your specs. And, to our and for specs. folks who don't know Bossa Nova or have forgotten, your, what, your R&D operation is right here in, in Pittsburgh. Right, right here in Pittsburgh, we are a spin-off from Carnegie Mellon University, and we specialize in robots and in kids. And so we have a bunch of engineers uh, in Pittsburgh across the street from Carnegie Mellon, and so it's really our inspiration and uh, our nest. Okay, and Ben, for folks who don't know Shell Games, a little bit about that, uh, your, your company. Yeah, we're a game design and development company. We have about 65 people now, most of whom are, are right on the south side of Pittsburgh. And uh, we, we do uh, all kinds of, of gaming experiences from theme park uh, installations to toys, connected toys, and social and mobile gaming in the education space and uh, all different uh, industries. Well, really fun. It's a, a especially exciting to see all this emerging right here out of our region. The product's called Mechatars. A few Mecha days Tars. left before Christmas, Absolutely. so still time to act, right? Absolutely. <laughs> all right, Sergeant Scott and uh, Jake Witherell uh, from Shell Games and from Boston. Over. Thank you both so much and congratulations. Thanks, Thank you Phil. very much. And when we return, another local startup that's making life more secure for many of us. Stay with us.